rational functions. Just like multiplying rational functions, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we factor every single thing in here. So we factor x squared minus x minus 2. Without a number in front of the x squared, this is the quick way to do it. We have factors of negative 2 that add up to this middle term of negative 1. So we'd say, okay, well, negative 2 and a positive 1 will work for that. So I'm just going to rewrite it factor down here. x minus 2 and x plus 1 divided by, now this bottom one, we look at the negative 5 and say factors of negative 5 that add up to a positive 4, and we come up with 5 and negative 1. So x minus, or plus 5 times x minus 1. Okay, so now we get to this division sign. What we want to make sure we remember about dividing fractions is that we never actually have to divide fractions. Um, we are going to flip our second fraction and change to multiplication. So what I do is I take a look at this bottom one first and I say, well, how will that factor? Um, we can take a 5 out of both terms and we're left with x plus 5. So if you notice, I took the denominator and when I factored it, I'm rewriting it as the numerator. So I am kind of factoring and flipping all in the same um, step. And then the x minus 2 will end up in the bottom. And now we can multiply. So again, just make it one big fraction. Um, we have multiplication in between everything and look to see what will cancel. So looking at it, I see an x plus 5, and an x plus 5, x minus 2 with the x minus 2, and that seems to be about all that we can do. So on the top, we have a 5 left over. We're going to write that out front with the x plus 1. And then over, we were left with just that x minus 1. And there's our final answer.